G'day everyone and welcome to your Tuesday footy feed. Well, the waiting game continues at AFL House, but we are hopeful of some news in the Essendon Supplements scandal later today. All the parties were back at league headquarters this morning for an 11 o'clock start. Negotiations have been continuing while the Commission was preparing to hear details of any new developments. Media remains camped outside in anticipation of an announcement at some point. Now, we do have some news from the AFL Commission. There will be an interchange cap in 2014, but the difference from the original plan is that the cap of 120 won't be broken down quarter by quarter, so teams will be able to manage the count over the course of the whole match. Changes during breaks won't be counted. Substitutions won't be counted in the total either. While he's not 100% fit, Geelong coach Chris Scott has declared Tom Hawkins is a key part of his finals plans. He's been quite transparent this year and that you know, all is not perfect with Tom, but he's in a much better place now than he was a couple of months ago. Now, the debate about who plays where in the first week of finals continues as well. There's even talk of a Saturday double header at the G, but the Cats coach no, doesn't care. Play, had. Yeah. play at Newtown Footy Club if you want us to. The MCG says it would be capable of hosting all four games in the opening weekend of finals. The Saints are hopeful Justin Kaczynski will be fit to finally play game 200 against Frio at Etihad Stadium on Saturday Arvo. The retiring veteran has been battling a calf injury. Mixed injury news from Hawthorne. Sirrioli is in doubt for Friday night's blockbuster against Sydney. The small forward rolled his ankle in the win over North. Liam Shields, meantime, also has an ankle injury from that game, but it's not as bad as first thought. And Collingwood Ruckman Brody Grundy has earned the Round 22 Rising Star nomination after taking on Eagles veteran Dean Cox last Friday night. I didn't really expect anything this week um, coming this week, so it was a bit of a surprise, but definitely, yeah, very um, honoured to receive a nomination. Grundy only switched to footy from basketball about three years ago. And that is the latest from the AFL.com.au newsroom. For now, we'll have more as it comes to hand. I'm Matt Thompson. Thanks for watching.